Hello, welcome back. Today I want to show you how you can create this sort of water simulation. It's for still images, but you can also use it for animations. So this is how it looks in the render viewport. And the way you make this, it's very easy. So the way you set this up is create a circle, go into edit mode, fill it in, then create a particle system. Go down to render, change from halo to object, then create a metapole, move it to the side. You can also scale it down a lot. Then in the object, choose the metapole. Then in the scale here, you can scale it up. You will see there's a metapole forming. Now when you press play, it will fall a bunch of metapoles. So now you can change it from a thousand to ten thousand, and it will start to look something like this. Then you can change the lifetime to 250 because the end is 250 here. The lifetime we can play with later. And if you want to, you can add scale randomness. And for the material of the water. You just go into the shader viewport and for the shader we will create a glass texture plug it in like this if we want to we can also add a volume scatter and then change ir to 0.33 or 1.33 so when you have done those steps you will have something like this and the lifetime changes how far they will fall. So now they're set at 17, but I can also change them to like 20. But now when I play this animation, now these balls will fall through the mesh and this might look unrealistic. So what you can do is also add these ice cubes to make it look colder. And also the top of the water I've made it's so it goes up and down and I made that with the sculpt tool and just went around and did this and if you want to you can also add a wind and force some metaballs up and uh, I, I try to do this so I can uh, have a more realistic look of the metaballs down here so it looks like air bubbles and I also made a ice cube down here so it looks like this ice cube got pushed down in the water and also i wanted this to look very cold so i made the whole image quite white and black what you also could do is you could go into the area lights and change the light from white to something like blue so now with the blue look it even looks even colder than it was before so that's about it. That's how you create cold water effect in Blender. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.